So you have an electric trike, but how do you transport it? Hey everyone, Ryan from eBike Escape. And JT from eBike Escape. And before we jump into this video, maybe you have a trike or you don't, we've made a ton of content about trikes. So if you're just kind of doing research on which trike is the best for you? How are you gonna transport it? We're gonna make a playlist in the upper right-hand corner. It'll have links to everything you need to know to help you make a better decision. And that's everything from full reviews to comparisons on the most popular electric trikes on the market. And be sure, to, if you are looking to purchase or we help you make a decision, please use the links down in the description. All purchases made after clicking those links help directly support us here at eBike Escape. And next, why are we here? We have the Hollywood Rack sport rider yep. bike rack it actually made an appearance on our best e-bike racks video that we recently published but they're the first ones to market with an electric trike rack which is a question that we've been getting a lot on our trike videos so in this video we're going to show off what the add-on is we're going to put it on here we're going to put both electric trikes on here show how it works with another electric bike which will give you an idea how you can transport an electric trike on the back of your vehicle. Let's get into it. So here is a quick overview look at the trike adapter kit for the Sport Rider. Before we go into any assembly of this, we need to quickly talk about price. So this is an addition to the Sport Rider rack. So if you purchase the Sport Rider rack, that comes in at $4.99. And then if you wanted to buy the trike adapter kit, that comes in at $249. The trike kit will not work unless you already own a Sport Rider rack. And there are multiple places where you can purchase this, so we'll be sure to throw all the links down in the description. Electric, for example, has the Sport Rider rack and the add-on on their website. And Rad Power Bikes has been selling the Sport Rider bike rack on their website for some time as they highly recommend it for hauling their electric bikes. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go and get this assembled and we'll show you what it looks like on the rack. Here is a look at that trike edition installed. So the trike edition, as we showed you before with the parts, includes this mounting bar here, this one here. It includes an extra wheel mount, as well as it includes a couple other of tie down straps and things like that. So when you typically have a bike mounted on here, you actually use these little clamps that go up and down to clamp on the top tube. Or if you don't have a top tube, you can buy an extra bar that mounts on there to give you that ability to clamp down. But with a trike, you don't have that. So how they expect you to mount this on here, which we will show you, is by using these wheel straps, as well as using these hooks here, where they provide you um, some actual tie downs that you will cinch down. We'll show you that when we get a trike on here. No matter which trike you end up using this rack with, whether it be electric, a rad, or a, some other options, there's a couple of things you need to note. The weight is gonna be one of them, but you're gonna have to dial this rack in to fit. So where your adjustments are gonna be are with these two bars. You actually change it to the rear uh, wheelbase as well as where the front wheel is and you have adjustment out. So there's a little bit of setup involved on your initial time of mounting the trike, but once you have this setup, it's locked in, you're good to go. I hinted at weight before. The total weight capacity that this trike edition is rated for is 90 pounds total. Both the electric and the rad trike fall below that once their batteries are removed. So you can transport both of those safely. Now the total weight capacity for this entire Hollywood rack, if you're running a bike and a trike, is 170 pounds combined. And then the maximum bike weight for that first area is recommended for 80 pounds. Hollywood Racks recommends this rack only be utilized with a class three hitch, which is gonna give you a little bit higher of a tongue weight. And they also do not recommend you use a one and a quarter to two inch hitch adapter to achieve being able to fit this on. And unfortunately, I know it's gonna make some of you out there sad, this rack is not rated for RV use. It is only recommended for a passenger vehicle. So we have the electric XP trike. That is going to be the first one we can mount. Now we do want to call out the fact that this is a folding trike. So check out our full review on how this folds because you don't necessarily need a rack though. This makes it much easier to haul, especially if you need to put stuff in your trunk. As JT mentioned, remove the battery and put it somewhere in safekeeping for storage. And why not do so with a bike case battery bag? It is waterproof and also flame resistant. This is the large size that fits the electric XP trike battery. And simply put it in there and then you can roll it up and clip it together and put it in your vehicle for safekeeping. You can find this bike case battery bag as well as some awesome other high quality 
accessories on our website at shop.ebikeescape.com. Also helps us out. Thanks for your support. Let's load up the XP trike. Get it mounted. All right, so we're gonna lift it up. Team, Team lift. lift. And then you set it down. And one thing I realized I did forget to mention before, checking out a little bit here in the rear, you will notice these wheel blocks. These are recommended by Hollywood Racks if the diameter of your wheels is 20 inches or smaller than two inches in width. They're really nice. They keep the wheels nice and centered. Just something to keep in mind that you may have to adjust the first time as well for your setup. And keep in mind, those are also included with the base model Sport Rider. So if you're hauling a 20 inch bike, like Electric 3.0, which we're gonna throw on here in a little bit, you can utilize those as well. All right, so next step is JT is going to lock those wheels in place with the straps that ratchet down really snug. Yep, holds it in there nice and snug. And we're gonna do that on all three corners. And, all right. And then now, once you have those three points of contact on, I said before that they include these tie down straps. And these are because, like I said before, you don't, you can't run that top clamp. So what you'd utilize these for is you go around the handlebars here and pull it down to this first clamp. And then there's a second one there that you do to kind of pull down on the frame, just to kind of help keep it, keep minimizing some of that up and down movement to really keep it strapped down. So you might think that this is a properly strapped XP trike on the back of the vehicle, but it is indeed not. Let me grab the one thing. Hollywood Racks has thought of everything with this and they include some flags so everybody sees you coming. All right, with those flags attached, we are approved for safety. And I'm actually pretty impressed. This is very stable. I think it's a really unique design that they're able to make it work with their already released bike rack that was probably never even meant to haul an electric trike. So nice job, Hollywood Racks. Now, this is one of the only trike additions that we've seen for like an add-on to a rack. There are some custom-made trike transportation racks that are specifically made for like a, a single model of trike. But as far as being able to adapt maybe a rack you already have or purchase a really affordable uh, case rack that's not only meant for a trike, this is going to be the one for you. And another great thing about this rack is that you can still put another electric bike on here. So with that, I think we should load this up with a electric XP 3.0. So we're gonna put on the electric XP 3.0. Now in hindsight, it would be much easier to put this bike on first and then the trike. But we do what we need to here. Now the XP 3.0 has 20 inch wheels. And so this is where those wheel blocks that I talked about before really come in handy as you need that to clamp the wheel and so that you're not resting on the derailleur. And this is the high step model. If you purchase the step through, you'll want to purchase one of those bike adapter bars, which is like a fake top tube, but simply clamp it into place. I wanted to call out some of the nice security things that Hollywood Racks does. They give you a cable lock, which can be defeated more easily, but it's still better than nothing for quick lockups. These mounts that clamp onto the frame are actually keyed as well. And to lock up the trike, you either want to use this cable or maybe check out our electric bike accessories list for some high quality chain locks that might lock your trike to the rack. And also the locking hitch pin for the rack is also keyed. And so someone can't very easily remove the rack. All right, with that, let's put on the rad trike. Okay, first thing, let's remove that battery to decrease the weight. And if you're wondering, the rad power bikes rad trike 10 amp hour battery fits in the bike case small bag, shop.ebikeescape.com. All right, with that, let's get this thing loaded. Let's go. Team lift, just like the last one. Up, 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 up. Uh, quick note, we did have to adjust the bars a little bit, of course, to fit the Rad Trike, as there are some dimensional differences between the XP Trike and the Rad Trike. But other than that, it gets clamped on the same way. You have your three wheel clamps and you have your two red uh, tie down straps, as well as your red flags. Don't forget those. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that the electric trike market is exploding, which is why we wanted to showcase how you can transport them. 
And we have some insider information that there's some other rack brands out there that are gonna be coming out with some other trike accessible racks. So be sure to like and subscribe so you get notified when that video gets posted as we're keeping a close eye for those who hit the market. And just a reminder, if you're looking to purchase anything featured in this video, we would appreciate it if you use our affiliate links down in the description. Thank you so much for your support and thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.